All right, count to 29. Still the eighth circle, ninth pouch, the sowers of scandal and schism. Jerry DeBello, an unavenged ancestor of Dante, the 10th pouch, the falsifiers, the first group, falsifiers of metals, alchemists, plagued by scabs, lying on the earth, scratching furiously, Griffolino, Capoccio. So many souls and such outlandish wounds had made my eyes inebriate. They longed to stay and weep, but Virgil said to me, Why are you stirring so insistently? Why does your vision linger there below, among the lost and mutilated shadows? He did not do so at the other moats. If you would count them all, consider 22 miles make up the circuit of the valley. The moon already is beneath our feet. The time allotted to us now is short, and there is more to see than you see here. Had you, I answered him without a pause, been able to consider why I looked, you might have granted me a longer stay. Meanwhile, my guide had moved ahead. I went behind him, answering as I walked on and adding, In that hollow upon which just now I kept my eyes intent, I think a spirit born of my own blood laments the guilt which, down below, costs one so much. At this, my master said, Don't let your thoughts about him interrupt you from here on. Attend to other things. Let him stay there. For I saw him below the little bridge, his finger pointing at you, threatening, and heard him called by name, Jerry DeBello. But at that moment, you were occupied with him who once was Lord of Howdafort. You did not notice Jer Gary. He moved off. My guide, it was his death by violence for which he still was not avenged, I said, by anyone who shares his shame that made him so disdainful now. And I suppose for this he left without a word to me, and this has made me pity him the more. And so we talked until we found the first point of the ridge. If there were more light, would show the other valley to the bottom. When we had climbed above the final cloister of Malibol so that it lay that its lay brothers were able to appear before our eyes, I felt the force of strange laments like arrows whose shafts are barred with pity. And at this I had to place my hands across my ears, just like the sufferings that all the sick of Valley de Chianos, hospitals, Maremmas, Sardinas, from July until September would muster if assembled in one ditch. So was it here, and such a stench rose up as usually comes from festering limbs. And keeping always to the left, we climbed down to the final bank of the long ridge, and then my sight could see more vividly. And to the bottom, where unerring justice, the minister of the high lord punishes the falsifiers she had registered. I do not think that there was a greater grief in seeing all Agena's people sick than when the air was so infected that all animals, down to the little worm, collapsed, and afterward, as poets hold to, to be the certain truth, those ancient peoples received their health again through seed of ants. Then I felt when I saw in that dark valley the spirits languishing in scattered heaps. Some lay upon their bellies, some upon the shoulders of another spirit, some crawled on all fours along that squalid road. We journeyed step by step without a word, watching and listening to those sick souls who had not strength enough to lift themselves. I saw two sitting propped against each other as pan is propped on pan to heat them up, and each from head to foot spotted with scabs, and I have never seen a stable boy whose master waits for him, or one who stays awake a, a reluctantly, so ply a horse with curry comb as they assailed themselves with clawing nails. Their itching had such force and fury, and there was no other help. And so their nails kept uh, scraping off the scabs, just as the knife scrapes off the scales of carp or of another fish with scales more large. Oh, you who use your nails to strip yourself, my guide began to say to one of them, and sometimes have to turn them into pincers. Tell us if there are some Italians among the sinners in this moat, so may your nails hold out eternal at their work. We too, whom you see so disfigured here, we are Italians, one said in tears. But who are you? Who have inquired of us, my guide replied, from circle down to circle together with this living man. I am one who descends. I mean to show him hell. At this, their mutual support broke off and quaver, uh, quivering, each spirit turned toward me with others who by chance had, had, or had heard his words. Then my good master drew more close to me, saying, Now tell them what is it you want, and I began to speak just as he wished, so that your memory may never fade within the first world from the minds of men, but still live on and under many suns. Do tell me who you are and from what city, and do not let your vile and filthy torment make you afraid to let me know your names. One answered me, My city was Arezzo, and Albero of Siena had me burned, but what I die for does not bring me here. It's true that I had told him jestingly, I know enough to fly through air, and he with curiosity, but little sense wished me to show that art to him, and just because I had not made him Deodalus, had one who held him as a son burn me. Had one who held him as a son burn me. But minnows who cannot mistake condemned my spirit to the final pouch of ten for alchemy I practice in the world. And then I asked the poet, was there ever so vain a people as the Sienese? Sienese. I guess people from Siena, I guess. Even the French can't match such vanity. 
At this, the other leper who had heard me replied to what I'd said, except for Strika, for he knew how to spend most frugally, and Nicolo, the first to make men see that clothes can serve as luxury, such seed in gardens where suits can take fast root, and to Casilla di Asiano's company with whom he squandered vineyards and tilled fields while Abagliato showed such subtlety. But if you want to know who joins you against the Sienese, look hard at me. That way my face can also answer rightly and see that I'm the shade of that Capocchio whose alchemy could counterfeit fine metals. And you, if I correctly take your measure, recall how apt that was at aping nature. And, and you, if I correctly take your measure, recall how apt I was at aping nature. So they got punished for practicing alchemy. Yes. Alright, that was the end of Canto 29.